Lily. Yo. Could we show you something the staff put together for you? That the staff put together for me? Yes. The staff put the together staff. for me? What? Okay, let's see. Hey, Tony, can we ask you a couple questions? Yeah, what's up? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Why are you proud to work on A Little Lake with Lily Singh? Why am I proud to work on A Little Lake with Lily Singh? It's very hard to find spaces where I feel comfortable that I can create. It starts at the top. Lily is creating that environment, so everyone beneath her is executing that and it's really such a great, safe, and fun place to work. I need to show you Chris's nails right now. Chris, let's see your nails. Don't, just flex on them, Chris! How do I focus this camera? It's been really cool getting to actually write for a female host. She has a higher purpose in mind. She sees the bigger picture of being representation for other brown Indian girls that have never seen anyone like themselves on TV. I feel like there's so many women on this staff. Like, I haven't sat here and counted. I mean, representation matters at the end of the day. It's a completely different viewpoint. And as a woman, I think it's really important, the kind of stuff that we're talking about. We speak about women's rights. We speak about birth control. We speak about these things that if a male host was talking about it, it'd be very like one and done. Like, yeah, of course, women need birth control. It's like, no, let's talk about it. Lily being able to give people a platform, I think is one of the best things she does as a boss. Lily definitely wanted to have new voices and she wanted, you know, certain mix of people. I feel really proud of uh, the writers room this season that's what i like most about this show for sure is feeling like we're giving voices to people who uh, routinely are oppressed or denied having their voices heard by a lot of people and honestly at the end of the day lily being our host gives us the opportunity to tell our stories. I mean, I've pitched stories here that I wouldn't feel confident pitching elsewhere. We all come to work knowing that we're working on something special. This show we shoot for 12 hours a day. It's like pretty insane. Like Lily's writing, she's directing, she's acting, she's playing every character, and then she goes back and watches the edits. Lily's in my chair, she's usually working. She's looking at scripts, she's editing scripts, making notes for scripts. She beats me here every day and she leaves here after me every single day. She stays consistent and has a little bit of the rock stars here and there. Two to three rock stars a day. Probably drinks a little too much rock star than a human being should be consuming. She's always on. She's a you know, very hard working woman. She's got that hustle. Be honest, be honest. How many times have you heard me pass gas? <laughs> I can't count them many times. Right, I knew it, I freaking knew it. It's a really chill set. Good morning. I mean, you wake up super early, but when you see the people on set, uh, it feels like you're maybe back at home. A couple weeks ago, she made us all do our best soca dance, and everyone was basically just like twerking around set, and that was like a normal Tuesday. Did you have a good one? I did, and it didn't air, so I'm offended. Do you want to, it can air now. No, I'm not prepared for that. I think that I would speak for everybody that does work for her in saying that we don't feel like it's just the Lily show. Barney, you are so dope. The red room looks so dope. Scarborough Cam, which is a bit that we pitched her. Lily thought was gonna be like corny and weird because we were using a puppet, but we really wanted to try it. So she trusted us to make it and we made it and then she loved it. You all deserve a raise. You're all getting a raise. That's the best thing I've ever seen. Lily definitely uplifts the crew and everyone else. I definitely feel inspired by her, just to see her walk in and know that once we're done transforming her into the boss that she is, she definitely is gonna out, go out there, deliver, spread her message, and hopefully inspire others to do the same. I am hoping that this show opens doors for more women of color, more LGBTQA. I'm really hoping that this is not the only show, but it's the beginning of something bigger. Happy Boss Week. If you're not a regular boss, you're a cool boss. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Also, can you please stop yelling because my headphones are broken? Thank you. <laughs> that was so sweet, what the heck? I'm so confused, when did you have time to do any of this? What the hell? That was so sweet, thank you. So I know I can't hug you, but I'll hug your laptop. Holy crap, that really touched my heart. Uh, let me just say it is boss week and I will say a big part of being a boss is investing in people. I think investing in people is greater than any project, any prop, it's people. And all of these people, I will happily invest in any day for what you just saw. Thank you so much! I'm gonna go cry, hold this. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching this clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more just like it. If you don't, none of us can leave set.
Thanks. <laughs>